Good afternoon. Bit of phone rotation there. This is Neil Spate, Thurrock Nub News. Down at Tilbury 2, the new port terminal, there's, uh, there's been a bit of a gathering of uh, guests relating to the... Um, I don't know what that bang was, a bit worrying. Um, of uh, the new rail service from Tilbury 2 to Manchester, which is being launched today. I feel a little bit like Francois Bergwijn, if you know who he is. He's a guy who gets very excited about trains. I'm not sure how excited he would be about seeing this one, but... Uh, Apparently it's 25 years old and it's about to leave Tilbury with the first official run of, I think there's 25 containers here, there's 25 containers that will no longer be going by road. Uh, it's a service that's going to operate every day now. Um, the bulk of the goods on this line, I'm told, are uh, Nestle, who are shipping all sorts of goods that come in by the ship, you can see in the distance, and containers, uh, and are then transferred by rail and as I say this will end up later on this evening in Manchester uh, where all the goods on board will be distributed through various supermarkets in the north of England so as you can imagine that's a lot of lorries no longer required and as this is to say this is going to be a daily occurrence um, goes about midday from Thurrock uh, and leaves Manchester in the early evening um, you're going to get the people who say it adds to the rail, the rail congestion. Well, of course it does, but I think most people see freight nowadays as a way forward rather than a problem. We thought they were going to be off. Typical. So I stand out here in the pouring rain. I hope that man's not going to undo the brakes on every single container. Otherwise, we will be here for a long while. But uh, for those rail freaks among you, let's just give you a little bit of a close-up. story up on Nub News shortly which has got a few more details about what's happening. I mean, this is a combination of P&O, Freightliner, Port of Tilbury and Network Rail and the link that you've got now joins somewhere round about the Hairpin Bridge if you know that area in Tilbury and onto the main line so clearly in particular this time of day it's a, a well scheduled manoeuvre to fit in among the commuter trains. Looks like the brakes are now off. The driver's making himself comfortable. tracks. We're next to the tarmac terminal recycling plant which also has plans to start shifting a lot of its product by rail in the very near future. I've just been talking to a couple of the guys from uh, the, the Tilbury 2 port and uh, they've got high expectations that over the next few years rail will become increasingly a predominant part of the operation of the port. Of course, this big beast in front of us is diesel, so uh, it's not quite as uh, uh, eco-friendly as some might like to see, but I'm sure it won't be that long before we get electric trains running on these routes as well. Although clearly you get a lot more power out of a big diesel unit to pull something the length of this. I'm sure the technical people out there who might be watching will know more about it. This, of course, all used to be the site of the old Tilbury power station. And slowly the area that that took is being taken by different operations moving in and expanding.
Yeah, I've just heard the driver saying he can't go yet. He's got to wait for something. So <laughs> maybe we'll uh, we won't keep you waiting here for uh, it to actually pull out. There you go, they've got to wait for port security to turn up to check it off. There you go. There's always bureaucracy, so I think rather than keep, you've got the idea of what's going to happen. This big beast is going to pull out, and later this evening, all these containers will be in Manchester. And all the projects, probably within a few days, will be on supermarket shelves. You can see the, one of the ferries, the roll-on, roll-off ferries, in the distance. So rather than wait here, we shall say adieu. And uh, hopefully this is the start of something that will help not only the economy of Thurrock, but also the environment of Thurrock. It's Niels Bate, Thurrock Nub News.